I think we need that privacy aspect that we can actually go out and search for this. I have got into the habit, unfortunately, now, is that I use a Tor browser to do my security research. Not because I'm guilty of anything, is I don't want people making those unfortunate connections which aren't there. Yeah, so you mentioned intent, and that's an interesting point. Uh, I always say to the, the people I work with, you know, you can have a laugh at work, you can mess around, have fun, but when it comes to the actual work, don't screw about, don't allow the potential <coughs> for the brand to be damaged in any way whatsoever. And I learned that lesson in my first day as a journalist when I did a work placement in a local newspaper. The first day in the office, the chatter, the gossip was about a competitor, another local paper. And on that paper, a journalist had written a really lovely story about some primary school kids. They'd gone to a local park, they'd cleaned the park up, picked up litter, and they'd done it all for charity. And the journalist wrote a story and she got a lovely photo of the children there with all the litter they'd picked up. And I don't, she must have been in a bad mood or something. As the photo caption, she wrote, another bunch of bloody kids. And the sub-editor <laughs> should have picked it up. The editor should have picked it up. It was published. And you can imagine the look on the children's faces when they saw that, <laughs> uh, and their parents. So that <clears throat> journalist lost her job, and it was her own fault for allowing the potential. Can I? Yeah. I would agree with that. I think some of the things that we've heard along the panel have been, I would agree with them generally, anonymity I would agree with, different personas I would agree with, but when you bring it within the context of an employment relationship, I think a lot changes. You summed it up as behaving like an adult. That's just another way of saying do, there are do's and don'ts, essentially. Within an employment relationship, personally, I, I, I'm afraid I would disagree with you, I don't think there is a role for intent in order to justify somebody being fired for saying something that brings the company into disrepute. Um, I don't think that's the case if it's in the pub, and there's no anonymity in the pub, remember. I also don't think it's the case on social media. I think, in all, I'm not advocating firing lots of people or anything like that, but there is, just the way it works, if you do a very bad job or if you are very sloppy, or you are very negligent, or you let that copy go through without checking it, there can be circumstances where that can have consequences. We've all said there can be consequences. It doesn't have to be deliberate. For that person to lose their job, and obviously I don't know the facts and all the rest of it, it didn't have to be intentional that they put that wording in. It was just a joke that backfired horribly. Maybe that's or a, a mistake or whatever. Maybe that's enough. On the flip side, I don't think there's a role for intent either on the, the culpability of the company. So if you have an organisation that's collecting lots of information about people that it shouldn't be, I don't think that they have to intend to invade people's privacy or do things badly in order for them to be legally responsible for that data. If, you've, if you're collecting the data, whether you meant to or not, it's with you and you've got to look after it. So this goes both ways. It doesn't have to be deliberate for you to have rights or for your employer to have responsibilities. Excellent, thank you. Um, another question. There must be another question, somebody. <laughs> There's been enough strong opinions here. Excellent, thank you. I'm Adrian Boylan from Richmond on Thames Council. Um, it changes the subject slightly, but it's to do with company responsibility and, and employee responsibility. Um, there's been legislation recently about whistleblowing, and I wonder if you could say something, I'm probably addressing Mark primarily, about the, the distinction, the, the point at which um, internal company procedure um, can, be ex can be judged to be unsatisfactory by the aggrieved employee who then wants to speak to the world. <coughs> Okay, I should have said I'm not an employment lawyer, I'm more of a, a, a data and security guy. But, <coughs> but essentially, there are, as an employee, you, you can say whatever you want, to whomever you want, whenever you want, but there are consequences sometimes. And so the way the legislation that you're referring to works is that there is a category of topic that is regarded as being sufficiently of interest to the wider public that you should not be fettered in your inclination to tell people and to call it out 
by the threat of being dismissed. So it protects you from, uh, it gives you a, a right, if you like, of an automatic unfair dismissal if the reason you're fired is predominantly because you said this company is committing fraud or criminal activity or health and safety breaches. <coughs> it's a very unsafe place to work. Um, they're doing something awful to the environment. There is a category of things that, um, where you will be protected. Outside of that and moving away from whistleblowing, if, there are, if there's something you do on social media that maybe, as far as the company is concerned, it's not good news, it's a bit annoying, but actually, it hasn't caused any damage. You posted that horribly embarrassing, potentially embarrassing video on YouTube, but it only had eight hits, nobody saw it. <laughs> you still get fired. In that situation, the courts have been um, more inclined to say to the employer, that's disproportionate, that's over the top, we will protect the employee in that situation. So what I started out by saying is it's as if in the employment context there's this kind of sphere of things you can say whatever, and, and be protected about over, notwithstanding whatever policy your, um, your employer has or whatever rules they try and put in place.